hi hello there welcome to my channel okay in this video i'm going to show you how to calculate vector so i will be starting with a how do we get the equation from the vector how do we solve a question regarding ratios and finally we will be going to solving problem all right okay now let's say we have a straight line and here it represents a and b and then it is given with the direction a to b so here we can write the vector notation as a b the a is actually going to going to b okay so we just make a okay this is the first one how to make a vector notation okay second one is uh, vector a and b also can be represented by let's say i put here an alpha okay alpha so this alpha there is two ways to write this alpha one is we can make it bald all right so this is a ball writing okay so this is number two okay number three is we can follow the alpha and we just put a, a line over here okay so this one it will become another vector notation okay these are the three types that represents a vector all right one two and three all right so now we are going to look at a triangle okay the most important part in vector is how do we make the equation of the vector all right so we just represent this as a and here's b and here's c and now we make an arrow here all right so you can see that the a is moving to b and the b will be moving to c all right so our the the end of the path is the c all right this is the end of the path and this is the beginning of the path all right this is the beginning and this is the end okay now we have to choose a shortcut all right a shortcut so the shortcut where it is the shortest distance from a to c so your best answer here will be of course this is your shortcut your a to c so a c is the shortcut okay now the question here will be find the shortcut all right so we can see here here both lines it begins then it ended up here okay now if we look at the a and the b it is going a long way all right it's going a long way so your shortcut here obviously c as your answer then look at your question number two here here is where these two arrows begin all right so the arrow of a is stopped over here while b and c it took a long path so your a obviously is your shortcut all right look at here now we have to search the point where there is a two arrows image all right so look at here this is the beginning point all right this is the beginning point so look at a it just make a only one direction however here we have b then it goes to c d and e so obviously the shortcut here is a all right so now i'm going to show you how to make an equation from this shortcut okay, it says it's uh, a b and c and we put a arrow like this okay now how to make an equation perfectly okay in this vector questions okay so now we have to find for the shortcut all right okay this shortcut once you obtain the shortcut which is your ac so ac put a direction okay this is our vector notation and we make it equals to the other vectors which is the ab and then we plus with the bc okay this is the vector equation okay so we have to make this vector equation to perform other
problems. All right, now we'll, let us look at it. This is the first triangle that I've shown you. Let us look at the second triangle the equation. Okay, now the equation here will be, and you can see the shortcut is this x. All right, this is our shortcut. So we can make x equals to y plus z. Okay, this is the equation. All right, so after we have learned this equation, next we are going to ratio. Okay, now I've given you the same line here, A, B. Okay, let's say A, B, we make it, it is, uh, it has a value of X plus with Y. Okay, so this is the vector of A, B. Now, if I make here a statement, it shows A and ratio of mb okay am with a ratio of with the ratio of mb okay here we have a 1 and 4 okay to make the things much more simplified we have to make it into fraction okay and then we have here 1 over 4 it means the size here is 1 and 4 here all right so now the question then will be find the vector for am all right so how we are going to find this so we only have the ab as a x plus with y okay so total of this ratio ab it is given 5 right okay now we can make a, a fraction where you have am over ab Okay, this AM is actually equals to 1. Alright, is equals to 1. Now, look at AB. AB, the total we have here is 5. So, now we bring the AB to the opposite side. It will become multiply. Okay. Now, what we can do, we have to substitute the AB with the x plus 1 y okay so am equals to 1 over 5 x plus y okay now you can multiply inside over here inside of this every uh, x and y so you become 1 over x 1 over 5 x plus with a 1 over 5 y and that is your answer guys this is your am Okay, don't forget to put the arrow. Okay, this is your answer. Okay, guys, this is the first question. And normally for this question, uh, you will have like two to three marks in for your IG questions. Okay, so now. <coughs> okay, now we have to find the equation. Okay. Okay, to find the equation, we have to find the shortcut first. Okay, the shortcut here is given by, by looking at the arrow here. Okay, this is your, our starting point. Okay, this is where we start because we have here two arrows is going. Alright, one is here and then it's going to here. B to A and A to C. Okay, this is a long cut. So here, there's A, I mean a B straight to C and this is the shortcut. So we have to start our equation with the shortcut at first B C and then we put the equals over here and then we plus all the other vector notation. Okay. As we look at this data here, this is our information that is provided by the question. Okay, here B C. So we just have to replace and substitute them and we can see there's a ba ba here is given by 3x and this is our question we have to find this ac okay so now this 3x we move to this left we'll be getting here negative okay now your equation for ac is 
you can minus here 1 minus 3 will be getting there negative 2x plus y okay this is your answer for the first question so let me just like write here ac is given by 2x plus y okay okay now you can see here for question number two this is bm and mc bm and mc so the m should be located at the ratio of a 1 3 so we can put here with the blue color so here is the m all right so bm we put the arrow here okay this is one all right this is one and here is three so the total of bc okay the total of bc in ratio is four all right so we have to calculate bm or mc okay now our next question here is a we have to find MA. So MA. We have to find this MA. Okay. So MA is given with this direction. Okay. So now we have to get BM first step. Okay. First step we have to. Okay. Now our step here is uh, BM. Make a ratio with the BC. All right, so BM will be one, and the BC will be the the entire thing. So which is a one plus with three, so you got that four, and BC will move upward, so it will become one over four multiplied with BC, and here you can see the BC is x plus with y. Put a bracket and then here you can see the bm is x over 4 plus y over 4 all right okay now for step 2 we have to find the equation for this smaller triangle which involves b m and a okay so i have redraw this here again so when we look at this triangle the shortcut here will be given okay the shortcut here will be given as you can see that the shortcut here is a BA. Alright. Then put the arrow here. It's the shortcut. Alright. So we equals it to BM and then we plus to MA. Okay, this is our equation. Alright, for this smaller triangle. And then we have to find MA. Alright, we have to find MA. So next we can move the BM to the opposite side. So our equation now we have to look at is BA minus weight BM and equals to MA. So this is the equation here. Alright, so if you look at it, BA we can actually obtain from here. Okay, we got that 3x. And BM here, we, we can obtain from the, the previous calculation that we have made. Alright, which is this. Okay, so we, we already substituted the BA is a 3x and BM is this. Alright, so we just, then we have to solve this. After, now we got that 3x minus, we open the bracket here, we got minus. Okay, so here will be. Okay, so we have to solve this x term and we have 11x over 4 minus with y over 4. Okay, guys. So with this knowledge, you can actually start to practice your IGCSE questions on vector chapter. All the best, guys. Subscribe and comment below. Thank you.